perhaps because the Yankees have the reputation of being able to spend huge amounts on free agents, if there's one thing that Yankees fans love, it's homegrown talent. Often, major prospects who never become stars in New York are still remembered fondly by fans, oftentimes getting a nice reception when they come back to play the Yankees in the Bronx. There's just something about watching a young player blossom from the draft or from an international signing to putting on the pinstripes and taking the field at 161st and River Avenue. Over the last couple of decades, the Yankees have had some of the best minor league talent in the game. Some have panned out, some haven't. But in any given year, there are usually one or two guys who come up from the minor leagues and help the Yankees steal a few victories. Here are five prospects in the Yankee system who I'm excited about and who you should be excited about. Some are closer to the big leagues than others, but they're all going to make an impact. Number five, shortstop Anthony Volpe. Volpe was the 30th overall pick in the 2019 draft and is a native of New Jersey. He was born on April 28, 2001, meaning he'll turn 19 during the 2020 season if there is one. In his first taste of pro ball, he batted 215 in 150 plate appearances with two home runs and 11 RBIs. He swiped six bags and has earned comparisons to Alex Bregman, Michael Young, and Trevor Story. Number 4. 25-year-old Mike King. King made his Major League debut during the 2019 season, but has been a major prospect for the Yankees since going 11-5 with a 1.79 ERA across three levels of the minor leagues in 2018. He saw plenty of time on the mound in spring training of 2020 and was actively competing for a spot in the rotation. I haven't seen any official comparisons, but he reminds me of a young A.J. Burnett. Number three, Clark Schmidt. The 24-year-old out of Ackworth, Georgia, was the Yankees' first round selection, 16th overall, of the 2017 MLB June Amateur Draft from the University of South Carolina in Columbia. Schmidt was also in contention to be the number five starter, despite only throwing 114 professional innings. Over those innings, he's posted a 3.39 ERA and struck out 132 batters to just 34 walks. He features a mid-90s fastball and a sharp overhand curveball. This spring, he appeared in four games, throwing seven innings, allowing two runs, and striking out eight to just three walks. Number two, 20-year-old Debbie Garcia of the Dominican Republic. Garcia started the Futures game in 2019 and features electric stuff, a seemingly effortless motion that can produce easy gas up to 98 miles an hour. He also features a big overhand curveball that he throws from 79 to 82 miles an hour. Command has been an issue for Debbie Garcia early in his career, but traditionally, that is the last piece to any pitcher's repertoire. If and when the season begins, Garcia will likely open up the year in AAA, but with the possibility of expanded rosters and a second abbreviated spring training, you may see Garcia get more innings at the big league level, wherever that is and whatever that looks like. Garcia won't turn 21 years old until May 19th of 2020. And in 293 and two-thirds minor league innings, he has 416 career strikeouts. He's been compared to a young Pedro Martinez. And finally, at number one, the Martian, Jason Dominguez. Dominguez didn't turn 17 until just before spring training. He was signed for $5 million out of the Dominican Republic last year and is a switch hitting center fielder with ungodly tools. Scouts have compared him to a young Mickey Mantle, a young Mike Trout, or a switch hitting Bo Jackson. His tools, according to scouts, are already above major league average. He's been known to produce exit velocities in excess of 110 miles an hour, which is absolutely obscene for a 17-year-old kid, and even more obscene for a 16-year-old kid, which is when he did it. Dominguez is nicknamed The Martian because people aren't even really sure he's from this planet. That's how good he is, and he even hit a home run in his first professional at bat. Dominguez is still probably a ways away despite his talent because the Yankees need to get him minor league reps but I wouldn't be surprised to see him starting in center field at 19 years old in 2022. Which prospect are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments, and as always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.